everyone, so welcome back. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on the 88 color palette. Now I've had a lot of requests to do um, more videos on the color palette and the warm palette. And I do have series for both palettes. So this is going to be the second video for the series of this palette. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you can see, this is what the eyeshadow look is. It's like a bright pink look with like a pop of yellow in the inner corner and I'm just kind of ready for summer. Spring is here so summer is really really close by just around the corner so I'm kind of excited because I love summer it's my favorite season and I thought I'd just do a brighter tutorial. I don't really wear bright looks but I just thought I'd do this for fun and um, kind of keep going with on with the series for the palettes. And I hope you guys enjoy this look, and let's just jump right into it, okay? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyes with um, Soft Ogre Paint Pot. You can use whatever you want. I'm just trying to use this up, and yeah, all the way up to the brow. Also, take a little right under your lower lash line, and in your tear duct. Coastal Scents um, 88 color palette. Um, this is the, the second video in my series. The first color I'm going to take is over here in this column, and I'm going to take the first color. Okay, right there. I'm going to take my Equal Tools eyeshadow brush. You can use whatever you have, whatever you want. Apply this all over the lid. You can go up into the crease, doesn't really matter. Um, you just kind of want a light lid. This color is similar to my skin tone, so anything close to your skin tone or a little lighter will be fine. After that, I'm going to take a color in the same row, but it's going to be the third one down, right here. Okay. I'm going to take a pencil brush. This one's from Sigma, so this is the SS219. Yeah, SS219. I'm going to take that orangey, peachy color. I'm going to create the V. Right here. And then bring it up into and above the crease a little bit. Okay, try not to get the color on the lid. We want to keep the lid pretty light. Now we're going to take this color and we're going to Feather it up towards the uh, beginning of your eyebrow. It looks kind of funny, but we're going to blend it out. Okay, so you have this really harsh, like, peachy, orangey line. I'm going to next take my SS224. It's the blending brush. And just blend that out a bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is take um, the pinky corally color right under that orange that we use. Same row, working with the same row, just the fourth one down now. Okay? Okay, uh, now this is really pigmented, so just like one dab will do. And then go over that orangey, peachy color. Alright, so it looks something like that. Mm, do you see it? Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is take my pencil brush again, the SS219, and I'm going to take the hot pink right under that peachy corally color, same row, I'm staying in the same row, so just the fifth color down, tap off the excess, and just apply this right into your crease, just to kind of define the crease a little bit, and then whatever's left on it, just kind of work it up. Take the hot pink color, same exact row, five, six, seventh, ooh, ew, got it all over me. Seventh color, it's the next hot pink in that row. So it's right above the red, okay? Taking that color, it's just a little more pinky, a little more bright. Now I'm taking this color, staying in the outer corner, and kind of just feathering it into your crease and a little bit onto the lid but not too much. So just feather it out, but staying in the inner, or inner, the outer corner, sorry. Just like that. Now just blend it out a little bit. 
Now taking that same pencil brush in the same hot pink that is above the red right there, take a little bit more, just like a dab, and bring it onto your lower lash line. I'm going to take my MAC 217. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of rubbing off a little. I'm going to take any taupey brown color, kind of grayish brown. I'm going to use this one uh, on the right side, fourth one down, second, or second column, fourth one down from the right. Just taking like a dab of it because it's so pigmented and kind of just work it into the crease. Just stay in the crease because all we want to do is create a little bit of depth for our eye. Now what I'm going to do is take my SS, um, what is this, 275. It's the angled brush. You can take whatever. You can just take an eyeshadow brush. But I'm going to take um, the color all the way to the left. Um, and which one did I take? I think it was the third one from the bottom. I think so. Whatever. I'm using it anyway. What I'm going to do is apply it right under the brow as my highlight. I'm going to take... Um, Coastal Scents, it's called the Contour Brush, I believe. Just any fluffy pencil brush. This is like the 219, but it's a little fluffier, so I'm taking this, and I'm taking the bright neon yellow, the only bright neon yellow in the palette, which is right here. Taking that, tapping it off, and applying it in my tear duct. And on my lower lash line a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is line my eyes. Um, I'm going to take my Sigma SS 266. It's the angle brush. And I'm using... Where is it? Hold on. Alright, I'm using my Stila Smudge Pot. Stila. And this one's in black. So I'm just going to take that angled brush. You can use whatever angle brush you want. What I'm going to do is line my eye. Starting from the middle, and then starting from the front, is make a small wing. Okay, as I was saying, um, before I cut off, or my memory card died, just create a small wing. Now I'm going to just line the waterline. All the way in. Curl my lashes. Apply my mascara, which is the final lash. Can you see that? I think the quality changed. I don't even know. But whatever. Okay everybody, so that's the entire tutorial. Um, once again, it's like this bright, springy, neon pink kind of look. Now for my lips, I'm going to apply Revlon's Soft Nude Lipstick. And it's one of their new ones in their like new packaging or whatever. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to apply this. On top, I'm going to put Max Glamour OD Dazzle Glass. This one, I'm not sure if... This one's a permanent color. I don't think it is. But I'm just going to apply that. I'm looking into the mirror over here. If you're wondering, because I know I'm going to get a comment like, why is she looking over there? So. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.